The beauty of the metric system is that instead of using different units for different sizes of quantities, we can use prefixes to change the size of a base unit. On the screen, you can see the prefixes and what factor they account for in the metric system. So the prefix nano, symbolized by a lowercase n, is a factor of 10 to the negative ninth. Micro, symbolized by the Greek letter mu, or sometimes by the uh, letter u, or mc, is a 10 to the negative sixth factor. Milli, 10 to the negative third, symbolized by a lowercase m. Centi, c, 10 to the negative second. Deci, lowercase d, 10 to the negative first. Kilo, symbolized by k, is a factor of 1,000, or 10 to the third. The way that these prefixes work is we can replace the prefixes with their numerical value in the unit. So for example, one kilometer, kilo, is 10 to the third, or 1,000 meters. In one kiloliter, 1,000 liters, 10 to the third liters. One kilogram, 1,000 grams, or 10 to the third grams. Let's see how different unit prefixes are applied to the same base unit. If we, if we look in, if we look at units of length, we can see how the different prefixes affect our equivalencies. For one kilometer, kilo, one times 10 to the third, meters. One decimeter, one times 10 to the negative first, meters. So notice that we're just replacing the symbol with the numerical value. This is somewhat like how a compound word works, like a dog house is a house for a dog. We want to determine what does each of these prefixes mean numerically. Deci, one times 10 to the negative first, centi, one times 10 to the negative second, and so on. This provides a consistent way of approaching these measures. Now, once we have those equivalencies, we can create two conversion factors from any equivalence. You may recall this from our dimensional analysis discussion. Notice that I've written the same conversion factor twice. This is important so that you remember to get both conversion factors. If I want to create the first conversion factor, I would just choose to divide both sides of my equation here by one kilometer. One kilometer. One kilometer over one kilometer will give us the value of one. So this gives us a conversion factor that we can then use for our calculations later. The other conversion factor I can make from this equivalence, I would use the other side of my equation, the one times 10 to the third meters, divide both sides by the same value, since this is one times 10 to the third meters over one times 10 to the third meters, that's gonna give me the value of one. And over here, this gives me my new conversion factor. We'll look at how we use these in our examples when we start actually doing conversions between metric units. But it's important to be able to write these metric conversion factors. It's important to also look at how we can apply the prefixes to different base units in the metric system. Notice that this is very similar to how we did with length, except instead of meter, we have liter throughout here. So one kiloliter equals one times 10 to the third liters. Otherwise, this kilo, it's exactly the same. So we can treat it the same way. So you can even do these types of conversions 
with units you're not very familiar with. Notice that it's again very similar for mass. We've got our kilo or kilogram. Kilo, kilo, deci, deci. Over and over, it's the same type of calculation. 